Good morning. It's Thursday, March 2nd, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Play Ball, and our scripture is 2 Timothy, chapter 1, where the apostle writes, Timothy, I thank God for you, the God I serve with a clear conscience, just as my ancestors did. Night and day I constantly remember you in my prayers. I long to see you again, for I remember your tears as we parted, and I will be filled with joy when we are together again. I remember your genuine faith, for you share the faith that first filled your grandmother Lois and your mother Eunice, and I know that same faith continues strong in you. This is why I remind you to fan into flames the spiritual gift God gave you when I laid my hands on you. For God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love, and self-discipline. Growing up in a faith-filled family, as Timothy certainly did, doesn't make anyone a Christian, but it does expose you to what faith looks like and challenges you to step into the water. Baseball is something of an analogy for faith. The Holy Spirit and Satan are opposing managers of two teams who are to play the game. God, who is the umpire, the judge, shouts, play ball, and the teams take their positions on the field. Paul is a player worthy of election to the Hall of Fame. He's no longer playing, but he's now a coach. He saw faith warming up in Timothy's bullpen, and he did everything he could to encourage his young protege to fan the embers into flames. By all accounts, Timothy did just that and became an on-field leader for his team. To flesh out this baseball analogy's meaning, he became a pastor. All of Paul's second letter to Timothy reads like an elder coach helping a young star player sort out what's really important and avoid that which could disqualify his team from any chance at going to the playoffs. It's important stuff. Most analogies break down at some point. In the baseball as spiritual warfare analogy, it's team choosing that finds holes like Swiss cheese. Baseball teams have tryouts where the coach evaluates potential players' skills. In matters of faith, God doesn't have to evaluate or guess about our abilities or usefulness. He's the one who created us. He knows us better than we know ourselves. And that's the most important moment of the game for Timothy. He was young and he imagined he was out of his league being a pastor. But he had one thing right. He was willing to listen to his coach, Paul. And that made all the difference when the umpire thundered out that important phrase, play ball. For you today, you may not even like baseball, but the whole issue of faith does not allow for personal preference. It is what it is. You already have faith. The question is, how will you exercise that faith? You will either be on one team or the other when God calls out, play ball. If you want to be on the winning team with Timothy, you'll know it's time to get in the game. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.